I'll tell you what, I hate the realisation of when it comes to November and we have to play Sunday League because it gets cold, the balls start hurting when you save them and the ground just seems to harden even though it rains all the time. I mean, it's kind of made me also realise that I need to find a girlfriend because at least she can sympathise with me about these things rather than you lot because none of you will sympathise with me. I mean, you'd just be saying, man up, you titwad. Titwad? What the fuck's that? Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of Sunday League Struggles. And uh, in this episode, we are playing at home against a team we played a few weeks ago uh, and we beat 6-2. So, you know, we should be winning this game. Yeah, a lot of things I say seem to come across as bragging. I mean, I've just said that we won 6-2. I feel like I'm bragging quite a lot there. Yeah, so it was raining pretty much throughout the warm-up and it got on my camera. So like the first 10 or 15 minutes were just a bit blurry. I mean, the rain was pretty much on the lens and my cameraman did wipe it, but it kept coming back. I mean, great cameraman I've got at the moment. No, I'm only kidding. I meant this week we actually had a better cameraman than normal. So uh, I meant he even gave me commentary and there will be some parts where I actually leave it in there because he explains it a lot better than I would. Although it doesn't explain why he filmed the dog instead of the match. Yeah, so I've got new boots this week. So there's a nice little shot of me taking the goal kick. Now, the wind was very strong in this half and it did affect my goal kick. So my goal kicks aren't brilliant. Like I know that like for one. But I mean, they were just dropping like flies. I mean, it got to the edge of the box, it just dropped. I'm thinking, hmm. Now, normally that happens without the wind, but this time it was happening with the wind blowing against me. So at least my goal kicks must be improving then. Charlie did get our first shot of the game and uh, he hit a P-roller pretty much at the keeper and the keeper spilled it. Uh, but there wasn't really much else other than Mike putting it wide from the follow-up. Then a long ball over the top found Mike and he ran for a goal. And uh, unfortunately, the angle started to get a bit tighter and uh, he dragged it wide. But, I mean, it wasn't that long until we scored our first goal. Okay, this is something I didn't want to put in the video, but it did lead up to a goal, and I thought it was quite funny. I mean, you being framed, have you got uh, 250 quid for me? So the last time we played him away from home, Mike got a free kick, and he crossed it in the box for Bradley to head home. And in this game, Mike got a corner and crossed it in the box for Bradley to head home. I mean, deja vu. At his very finest. There's not really much more I can add to that, really. I mean, I've kind of closed it off with that. Oh, yeah, and just as that first goal went in, the refs turned up. I mean, you're probably going to be wondering, who was refing our game? Now, one of our coaches said he had to, like, put the game on because we were already kicked off 15 minutes late or whatever. And so he actually refed the game until the ref then turned up and said he thought it was an 11 o'clock kickoff. We played at 10.30 all season. How could he think it was an 11 o'clock kickoff? So Chris, our striker for the game, and the defender both jumped up for a header and Chris accidentally landed on his foot and then the defender decided a play act for about two minutes. I mean, this is the closest thing I've got to an award and he's more than welcome to take it for play actor of the year. If anyone who wants to know, it's uh, Jeff Hurst. So, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just leaving this bit in because I thought it was funny. What is it? Shoot! I, 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 come on. I, That's the best shot Dudley's had all season. And it is probably true. Charlie then managed to finish this uh, midfielder's Sunday league career. Anyway, back to Chris Cam, and you're probably wondering, what am I doing at this period of the game when not really much is happening at my end? Yeah, I was I was warming up. Like, I mean, you know, you must know this warm-up. Quick feet or whatever it's called. Yeah, like, I mean, it was fucking freezing so the free kick which we actually did get while i was warming up uh it did manage to find its way into the net and it went down as a known goal uh, off one of their defenders and uh, that made it 2-0 and it gave us a more comfortable position because this team with the wind on their side were being a bit dangerous a bit I mean, I'm not giving them too much credit here. I mean, the way this series is going, I'm going to fall out with every team in the league. So unsurprisingly, our third goal came from a set piece as well. And Mike put the ball into the box and it found its way to Chris, who seemed to take an age to run up to it and then fired it past the keeper to make it 3-0. And that made it really comfortable to us. So that did bring it to half time, and that was 3-0 to us. And uh, it was pretty comfortable. I mean, I wasn't in much danger. I don't think I really had to make a save uh, this half. Uh, so, I mean, I feel like I'm taking advantage on my team's defensive stability by keeping clean sheets because, I mean, I'm not really getting troubled in these games and we're keeping clean sheets. I mean, it's not even me that's doing it. I generally might not even bother recording next game because I might not even turn up because I don't have to at this rate. For any teams in my league who have watched that and thought I was being serious, I'm not. So, uh, yeah, there's your disclaimer. So, with the win on our side in the second half, we thought, okay... 
this is it. We can finally put a few goals past this team. They did get a shot though, and it was a P roll out of me. And if I let that in, I might as well just retire from life, let alone Sunday League goalkeeping. So Mike forced a good save from the keeper, and then Chris uh, had his shot cleared off the line. But Mike did get on the rebound, and that was only 30 seconds after I made that save. So I'll take I'll take the credit, lads. Thank you very much. I mean, we always enjoy a bit of ref cam, don't we? So uh, the ref just hopelessly looking around wondering what's going on so this isn't a typical proudy video unless i do something which i shouldn't really and it was another one for the camera save that i pulled off from a free kick i mean at this rate i could have a compilation of one for the camera saves watch out for that at the end of the season so shawnee then had a goal disallowed which uh, he scored on his left peg and it was a great finish i mean the referee should have just allowed it because shawnee scored on his left peg but of course you know i had to make another save my bad yeah sorry you know Maybe I'm gonna have to turn up next week after all and uh, unsurprisingly we then scored like after I made that save I mean there was four minutes in between the save and the goal But I'm still gonna take the credit for that as well. Thank you very much But surely did put a great cross into the goal. I mean, it's not a shot. It was a cross I mean even I know it was a cross and it's my video So I'm gonna say it was a cross that went in Charlie then made it 6-0 with a volley from the edge of the box Not that you could see it though and our coach for the day Adam knew it as well Oh shit! But of course, because we've missed the goal, we might as well do the closest visual representation to the goal itself. Header. Pajero! Oh, you beauty! I mean, they were fairly similar. I mean, they were from a similar range, similar importance of a game, you know? So Jordi, our cameraman for the first half, came on at defensive mid for the first time this season. Yeah, he's probably best at defensive mids or centre back. I mean, with shooting like that. I had to put this in the video as well. I mean, Connor, I'm sorry. Like, it was too funny to leave out. And so Connor stopped the ball, managed to kick it out of play when it was a stationary ball. I mean, only he could tell you how he did that. I nearly then got my first assist of the season and I caught the ball from a free kick and smashed the ball forward for Levi, one of our new signings, to run through. And he did get his foot onto the ball, but the keeper saved it. I mean, I'm so close to my first assist of the season. Actually, sorry, the only assist I've ever made in football. Oh, and then Jamie managed to miss. I mean, that's probably why he's a left back. But Levi did manage to make up for the fact that he denied me my first assist of the season. Thanks, Levi. I know you're watching this video, mate. But he did turn the in defender inside out and then called it past the keeper to make it 7-0. I mean, 7-0 in this league. That is pretty impressive, actually. So, shout out to the kids who asked me after the game what the score was. And I said 7-0. And they acted shocked. I mean... Oh, yeah, they probably thought it was for the other team if they've heard of me. Oh, yeah, and shout out to the ones that did subscribe to me, if you did. I mean, I know you're watching this. If you're not watching this, then I've just wasted my time. Although, I'll see you next week if you want to subscribe to me as well. And that was full time straight after. And a 7-0 win in the league uh, put us uh, top of the league. So, that 7-0 win did boost our goal difference to plus 22. And you're probably now thinking, Proudy, we don't really care if you win like by 7-0. We want to see you lose. I mean, that was the old Proudy. It's the new Proudy now. I mean, this Proudy is just a fucking god. Okay, well, that was another brag, wouldn't it? But yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, make sure you smash a like. I mean, as I say, 75 likes is the minimum. But I mean, a lot of you are liking it, which is great. I mean, we're averaging about 110, 120, which is brilliant. Uh, for this series. I mean, it's something new which uh, I wasn't sure about doing at the start of the season. And I mean, seeing the amount of likes we're getting and the comments. Although, some of the comments are a bit harsh. Joel, I mean, I've called you out there. I, I know you keep commenting first on every video. I mean, you comment one minute after the video goes out and then you say something which actually does happen in the video. I mean, how do you find that out? But we'll be back next week where we're playing in the cup at home against a team whose top goal scorer has scored the same amount of goals as our whole team put together. And if you want to know how many that is, 34 goals, give or take 10. No, no.